back there. All right. All right. I'm going to bogart the mic. Here we go. Remember that, vocalist. All right. So, good night. Good evening. Welcome. My name is Jan Labalarte, the very proud principal of Arts Academy Charter School here at our. Also, very happy to see these beautiful children of yours. Thank you for escorting them here and letting them enjoy their interest and explore their passion for the arts at our school. We're having a great time with them. We all had a really interesting day today at school. <laughs> Some of you know about it. And I was so proud of the students and the staff. They performed everything asked of them wonderfully, as they will tonight. Uh, as we got through our first little incident at, there at school, everything's wonderful. And we got back, did some preview performances for the students, got the dancers off to see the Nutcracker in downtown Bethlehem. So all around, it was an awesome day at Arts Academy. And uh, we know that sometimes there are events in life that uh, cause us to want to hug our children a little bit closer. And we are also mindful of that tonight. Um, but we're going to take the approach that we're going to celebrate it with the music and uh, just look on the bright side of it. So we are thankful that you're all here with us. It just got a lot louder. And I'm going to turn this over now to our vocalist, grades 5 through 8, from Arts Academy Charter School. <laughs> After I tell you the message from Ms. Martin, follow the program. We appreciate your patience and helping us get set up here and enjoy the show.
for joining us. Once again, I'm Dan Lavalarte, the principal, and we are presenting music for our winter evening. What you just saw was a fifth and sixth grade show choir. They were under the direction of Miss Lindsay Rice, who is a fifth grade classroom teacher as well. Louder? Loud. Is that better? Thank you, Dr. Lumen back there. Give, still give me direction. Come on. All right, thank you. Obviously, I still need it. Um, so, as our fifth and sixth grade a cappella choir lines up, uh, they are under the direction of Miss Martin. We have three numbers coming up that we'll uh, let them squeeze in.
I particularly appreciate the combination of football and music. Nice job, Ms. Martin. I've been hearing that music from under the floor of my office for quite a number of weeks, and it's really nice to see it and see their smiling, beautiful faces as they perform it. Uh, we are transitioning now to a large ensemble of fifth and sixth grade students, and that will take them a little while to get out here. So since I'm reminded that Dr. Lubin is back there, it makes me think that we could spread the word here for our upcoming open house. If you have any friends, families, neighbors interested in uh, looking at our school for next year, there will be an open house you could advise them about on Saturday, January 5th at the school uh, in the morning at 9 o'clock. That would be for new students. Returning students need not attend. Uh, <laughs> it would be a little too crowded. You couldn't all fit in there. Um, so, we also have a, a guest accompanist here, Mrs. Carla Lake, on keyboard. So we're happy to have her contribute to our performance tonight.
have to get a few props for because we are going to say Merry Christmas from Hawaii in Pennsylvania. <laughs>
Eighth grade, large ensemble piece is called Snow is Falling, and in it you will hear lots of text painting. Raise your hand if you know what text painting is. My students, you should know. They're faking. Text painting is when you can hear the words in the music. So they're going to be singing Snow is Falling. While you, if you would close your eyes and picture it, you can actually hear the snow falling in kind of layered form. You'll hear it.
We'll be transitioning to show choir, uh, seventh and eighth grade show choir. Thank you, Ms. Martin. That was wonderful. of Mr. Mr. Brown. Mr. Foley. He doesn't have a first name, right? Okay. Are they ready?
the show for tonight. Thank you to all the teachers who are here supporting the students in the aisles all around, all the parents and the family for your continued support. We do wish you a wonderful holiday, however you celebrate it. Oh, and a little reminder from the staff that the donation baskets are on the way out. Have a lovely weekend.